YouTube, what's good? Curse Breakers, we back. Got the mic on me. It's not even plugged in, but listen to me. The quickest way to kill a guy like I did is at an infant stage. So think about this. You know how you always want to do better? Also, by the way, happy August 1st. You know, new blessings, new beginnings. But think about it. You always want to do better, right? You always say, oh, today I'm going to start doing this. Today I'm going to do this. Think about your New Year's resolutions. Think about how hard it is, though. Day one, super easy because you're motivated. Day two, super pretty easy because you're motivated. Day three, uh, I mean, I'm doing good. Let me relax a little bit. Day four, I'm just chilling. And then day five, something happens that gets you right back in that pattern and you start over. You get lost in the sauce. You know what I'm saying? The quickest way to kill a guy like I did is at an infant stage. Think about it. That is why the devil attacks you in these moments because you're at the very beginning. He knows he still has his hold on you. Think about it. When the devil has a hold on you, He's going to keep sending you these attacks, these attacks, these attacks, these attacks, because you have, you know, fell into that trap time and time again. I tell my friends, you know, we're on this guinea pig. We're guinea pigs. We're on the wheel. You know what I'm saying? They're turning the wheel. The government's turning the wheel. The devil's turning the wheel. We're on there running. They're throwing us water every 20 minutes, maybe. We're running for them. They're sitting out the cage laughing at us. Get off that damn wheel. Get off the wheel. You're better than that. That's why they keep attacking us so much, because they know the devil has already had us and, you know, grasping the stronghold in his loop and bondage so for all my men out there who are very women weak think about it you love women to death you know women take you away from everything that you're destined for and this is no disrespect to women at all but think about for my guys out there that are just girl crazy you know what i'm saying think about it he keeps sending he sends you a girl right that you you know you just want to fornicate with don't really want anything else with then he sends you another one Oh, as soon as he gets done, let me go ahead and send him another distraction. Let me go ahead and send him another. Same thing for the ladies, though. They might send you a man that, you know, the succubus energy thinks that, you know, he looks good. He does this. He does that. It's everything you're typing. And boom, all of a sudden, two, three weeks later, his true colors come out. This is how it goes. The devil's sending you these attacks, you know, and things that you want, things that you desire. Use that discernment to think about it. And it is just, it's just so critical. Like sometimes I don't even know what to say when I talk about these things, but it's just so critical because if you really pay attention, you'll see this continuous pattern. You'll see the repetition. You'll see the cycle. That's why you have to break the cycle, break the curses. Remember, the quickest way to kill a guy like idea, aka you, your ambition, you know, the things you have, the light within you is to attack it at an infant stage, aka the beginning. Why do you think the devil attacks you? He knows, like he knows not even just what God has said about you, what God's put in your heart, in your body, in your soul. He knows your soul. You know what I'm saying? God has spoke highly about you. God has this destined out for you. You know, he has this plan for you, this plan for you. He knows where you're headed to. The devil does too. That's why he keeps sending them an attack, attack after attack. And you know, these attacks might, you might just think it's a blessing the whole time. You might just think, oh man, I can get any girl I want. Or I can get any dude I want. I can have this, I can have that, all this money. But what is that money doing to you? What are these people doing to you? What are these things that you keep, these materialistic things that you keep wasting your time on, what are they really doing to you? Think about that today, though. Just really think about that because I promise you, if you think about that and then use your discernment to figure it out, you will notice that there's a lot of things out here that are just illusions. The past is illusion. The future is illusion. They don't exist yet. But all these people, all these things that are just taking you off your path of the straight and narrow. And I'm not saying you're going to be perfect. I'm not saying quit everything now, do this and do that. But just understand, if you really think about it and you pay attention, there are so many things out there that are meant to just distract you, to take you away from your higher self, your higher being. Because once you start working on you, it's addicting. I mean, it is. That self-work, that self-love is addicting. It's, it's one of those things that once you realize you have light, can't nobody stop you. You're going to get bigger distractions from the devil, from the enemy. But can't nobody stop that on you. You know what I'm saying? Like how Lamar said off of um, BMF, you can't stop the rain. Simple as that. You can't stop God's rain. You know what I'm saying? You think it's raining the whole time you're just getting watered. Pay attention. Do what you need to do. And I don't even know what to say, but enjoy your day. Happy August 1st. New blessings, new beginnings. Just know, manifest tonight. It's a new moon. Understand that you have the power to create anything you want in this life. It's already in the spiritual realm. And it's probably in the physical realm, in the third dimension. But the thing is, you have to be aware to see that. Work on your awareness. I'll make a video about awareness later today, but enjoy your day.